Hello everybody and welcome back to some sleepers sleepers. I have a very exciting week four for everybody. The fantasy season is going right along. We have some players who are coming back who we may want to be paying attention to this week. We have a very specific theme in mind this week. You're going to see it right away. First and foremost, we have Tyler Conklin at tight end. If you are weak in the tight end position, very important for you to look at this. Look at the target share that T Conklin has been having without Zach Wilson. Tyler Conklin has been kind of a safety valve, and as you see, for percentages of ownership, very low. I will tell you after this week, he's probably not going to be available for that. So whether it's waiver order, if you're higher up on the waiver list in case your season hasn't gone great so far, or... If you are in the bidding portion of this, I think he's as high as a $15 bid on your waiver wire. I would take Tyler Conklin absolutely as the number one tight end off the board this week for waivers. And part of that is because the MILF Destroyer is here. Zach Wilson is finally showing up. Robert Sala has said that he's playing, and this offense has looked somewhat okay under Joe Flacco. I mean, Joe Flacco, for fantasy purposes, through the first two weeks at least, before this last disastrous week, was actually looking all right. And so Zach Wilson, ownership obviously is really low. He's coming back into it, and especially if you run a super flex, I would absolutely add in Zach Wilson here. I think that he may wind up surprising, kind of reinvigorating an offense where he has actually quite a bit of weapons. Not only does he have Conklin, as I just mentioned, he has Elijah Moore, he has Corey Davis, Garrett Wilson has looked really solid through the first three weeks of the season. He also has Brees Hall and Michael Carter. There are weapons on weapons for him, and so we will see... Coming up in this first week, I would grab him just in case if he pops off. Especially if you're in a super flex league, you gotta grab the MILF lover here. That is Zach Wilson, you gotta grab him. And lastly, our third sleeper, sleeper for the week is going to be Romeo Dubs, as I'm calling him, because he it very much is starting to look like Aaron Rodgers is finally getting a feel of who his target's going to be. It's definitely not Randall Cobb at 47 years old. It's going to be Romeo Dubs. Dubs himself, ownership is actually really low. But as you can see over on, <laughs> wrong hand, over on this side, of me you can see in the week three matchup against the tampa bay defense that has been really solid really good the connection is starting to get there and this is a everybody knows this is kind of how aaron Rodgers works he, he gets really suspect in the first week of the season then he beats on my chicago bears till they die and then after that he starts to kind of start churning and i really see romeo dubs as somebody who you absolutely if you're adding in a really solid flex or wide receiver three spot so romeo dubs is going to be my third wrapping all this up again just a real quick recap we got ourselves tyler conklin tight end number one off the board part of the reason is because zach wilson is back baby and he is gonna be slinging the ball with fantastic weapons all over the field i fully expect the new york jets to be a lot more competitive with him in at quarterback and then we have Romeo Dubs who is looking like he finally has the rapport with Aaron Rodgers and could become the wide receiver one in that offense in a contending team in the NFC no reason not to grab him for a wide receiver three flex spot